In this video, I want to introduce you to a new exciting product called Data Power Operations Dashboard, or DPOD for short. It will make managing your Data Power Gateway environment a lot easier for both developers and operational folks. DPOD provides a centralized console for troubleshooting Data Power transactions across your environment and provides DevOps information to enable quicker problem determination. It works with all data power form factors such as physical appliances, virtual appliances, Linux, and Docker, and it supports all currently supported firmware versions. I know this sounds very exciting, so let's see DPOD in action. Consider a developer who is writing API services and starts testing his implementation. He opens up his test tool and sends a request to a data power service, but gets an internal error. There's not much information about why this request failed. Now, you could log in to your data power GUI, but you may not have access. Now, lucky for me, I have data power operations dashboard. So I will log in with my developer account. And as you can see, once I logged in, I get a quick dashboard about my environment, the number of successful transactions and a number of errors that have occurred. Now, I'm more interested about troubleshooting. So I'll go in to the last request that was received and I'll click on the transaction ID here. And you can see that in this transaction analysis, the reason why my transaction failed was due to a schema validation error. So if I scroll down a bit, I'll see perhaps what element could have caused that error. And you can see by this message that it found state, but was expecting the next item to be city. So if I go back to my test tool and look at my request, I'll add a city tag here. Now I don't put, need to put anything in here for now. And so I can just test it out. And you can see that I now have gotten a proper response. I can go back to the data power operations dashboard, look at the last tran transaction that came in. Let's do a refresh. And you can see that this time there was no errors that occurred and this transaction was successfully processed. What is really neat about DPOD was that I was able to troubleshoot this issue without any administrative assistance. It was a self-service experience. DPOD, in addition, DPOD can also be configured to just show the services that I should have access to. All right, let's try another request. This is a service that will return me a list of drivers. Now it's something that I'm just testing out before I actually leverage it inside of my mobile application. So I'll send a request and as you can see that it hasn't completed yet. Now I'm gonna wait a few more seconds here. Hopefully it, it finally is able to, to execute. Ah, there we go. So now I was able to get back a response. But you can see here the time it took was 10 seconds. Right. So clearly this is unacceptable. Uh, now this could potentially be an issue that happens in a production or a staging environment. So your operational folks will need to be involved to troubleshoot the issue. So I'm going to log out of my developer account right, and put on my operations hat and log in with my administrative ID. Uh, so you can see here that there's a lot more options I have available as an admin. So I have dashboards that show me a lot more information about my environment. Investigate, explore allows me to see the configuration of my data power services. Reports allows me to generate reports. And then man manage allows me to manage the, the, the DPOD environment. So for now, I'm going to go back to investigate. And you'll see that the transaction I'm interested in is this stub service proxy. And you can see that the elapsed time is 10 seconds. Now, if I click on this transaction here, you'll notice that there's no error detected because the transaction did execute. But you can see that the actual time data power took was very small and that the majority of the time spent was in the back end. So just about 10 seconds, right? So this clearly indicates that the issue is not in data power and rather the issue is in the back end service. So no change needed on data power for this issue. I'm going to call the backend service owner and tell them that he has a performance issue. I'll go off and grab a coffee and say, thank you, DPOD.